Maybe it's the incredible hospitality shown by my new Andean family, or the fresh guinea pig coursing through my veins. But I'm even more determined to win the battle with Virgilio. Man, you're out of breath. No. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> so I've enlisted the help of Haresh, a Russian supplier with culinary contacts all over the valley. He's told me about a local delicacy that tastes like shrimp crossed with calamari. You're telling me that this delicacy is sought after and is only found at this height. Yeah. And there's the man that knows how to find them. Mamerdo. Uh, Hola. Hola, how are you? Man, good to see you. I am keen to see this delicacy. Está por acá. Por acá. Vamos a ir. Sí, yeah. por acá está. This way, says. Let's go. Vamos. That, ahí está la planta que está ahí. La comida rica. The cactus. Sí. That's the delicacy there. Sí. On the edge of the cliff. Este crece en partes más peligrosas. Dentro de esa planta hay este abajo el gusanito. Captain, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bueno, vamos. Oh, man. A ver cómo hacen esto. Good luck. Con despacio. Good luck. Con cuidado. <coughs> Capizas. Yes. Agarrarse de acá. Yeah. Con despacio. Is, una... is, is that rock there? Sí, es una roca. All this for a worm? Seriously? Oh, man. OK, let's see. Over 30 years of working as a chef, has all been leading to this moment, catching a Peruvian cactus worm with a lasso. Una, dos, tres. Ah, ya. Oh. <laughs> hey, Harash, I'm gonna kill you. You gotta get up here first. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Excuse, that is not funny. Be careful. See. This is super dangerous. Bota y que entre ahí. Una, dos, tres. Si puedes. Si puedes. Ya, 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 ya. Jala, jala, jala. Oh, yeah. A ver, hay gusano o no hay gusano. Oh, sí. No sé, sí, sí, sí. Ahí está. Ya tienes. Look at that. Esto es la rico, la comida rica. Yeah. Seriously? Humberto. It's gonna be delicious. I'm proud of you. Ma. Con despacio, sin cansar. ¿Está no es cierto? Ah. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Este gozano se llama guaitampo. They're like giant caterpillars. Yeah. How did he first learn about these? Nosotros esto hemos comido desde antes, nuestro sí. ancestral. Mi papá me llevaba a donde esto y sacábamos, le ayudaba. Mm. Oh, hey. <laughs> Excellent. And how old were you when you first started dangling off the side of a cliff with your dad looking for worms? Me llevaba era seis años a siete años. Six or seven. Amazing. Right. Ahora. I'm just going to get them a little bit dry. Yeah. <laughs> just so it doesn't crackle. Okay. Yeah. Go. Whoa. Oh. Are you okay there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mira. Pedal aceite. Oh, bravo. There is cocinero. Thank you. Y ahora sí. This is where I tell you I'm vegetarian. Stop it. Mira, vamos a comer. Yeah. Tiene bastante proteína. Mm. Cuando comes, no te da ni hambre todo el día. Ya, yeah. a esto se come ya. Delicioso. Es como a, es como a crispy, uh, like a crispy cockroach. <laughs> 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 While Mr. Ten takes the toe biters back to the kitchen, me in that one? Yes. Oh, man. Ready? His sons take me out on the river. Now, at 210 pounds, I just hope I don't sink this thing. 
The Mekong is the second most biodiverse river in the world. It's full of fish that I failed to net, but it's also filled with delicious snails. Finally, prey I'm fast enough to catch. This place is beautiful. So, where are they? Underneath the weeds? Underneath, yeah. OK, great. Let's go. I'm not going. You're not going? I'm, no, I'm staying here. Yeah. Why? Just in case I have to rescue you. In case you have to what? Rescue you. <laughs> rescue me? Yes. <laughs> Woo, that's fresh. Careful, mate. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. It's a strong current. In these strong currents, I look less like Michael Phelps and more like Michael Palin. It's a lot harder than you think, right? It is, it is. Huh? It's not easy to put food on the table in this country. Go on. Oh, well done. <laughs> you ready? Look at those. How are you getting so many in one hand? Mm. Further in front. Further. It's like a clam. A clam, yeah. Wow. Well done. This is going to take me all bloody day. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's, they're small. Let's just hope they're tasty. I've done over 500 dives. That dive was one of the most difficult because you can't dive in a metre and a half of water when you've got a current that strong. After a hard day's graft, Mr Ten and his family teach me how they cook toe biters using traditional bamboo skewers and then through. How many times a week would you eat these? You know, once a week. Once a week. So it's regarded as a delicacy? Yes, tied it up. Uh, so we grill them over the charcoal. Yes. Amazing. Remove the wing. Right. Ah. Ah. Just that? Yep. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Crunchy. Chewy. Wow. That actually tastes almost like a uh, the sort of the inside of a lobster carcass. It's very sweet. Wow. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. Uh, really good. Um, they don't look appetizing, but my god, get inside that head, it's like a a sort of cross between a sweet lobster and a crab meat. And uh, yeah, packed with protein. Big surprise. Amazing. Snails. Ah, uh, look, he's got one there. Hello. Uh, thank you. Amazing. Roll that up tight. It's like a snail lettuce <laughs> roll. <laughs> snail roll, yep. How's that? Mm. Okay. It's delicious. Sablai. Better than okay. Sablai. Sablai. Yeah, Sablai. Lai. Sablai. <laughs> These snails are very meaty. So not only are we harvesting the most amazing rice, but we've got this bounty of ingredients that is expensive protein because they taste delicious. The effort it takes to create just one meal here is humbling. At home we have snails with garlic butter, fancy tongs and stupid shells. Um, this is delicious. I'd love to serve some of these critters to the monks, but I'd be here all week catching them, and there just isn't time. What an amazing little kitchen this is. Isn't it? It's a bar. Mr. Miyang's daughters show me how these ants can spice up a Tom Jar Pass soup and face the question every chef asks in the kitchen. Can I help? In the, in the pestle, that she's got chili, lime, and salt. What an amazing kitchen you have here. 
Um, any chance we can turn the air condition on? Uh, <laughs> I don't even think they'd know what you're talking about. <laughs> Electricity arrived in this region just 10 years ago. But most people still use traditional charcoal stoves, which have two settings, hot and hot. And so they are the, uh, that's the ants. That's your annex, yeah. Wow. Yeah, mixed in with the ants. Wow. They're delicious. They look like little maggots. <laughs> they pretty much are. So we're gonna we're gonna finish the soup with the ants. Say again. Yes, that's right. The bunch of those those herbs that we've collected in the forest, a bunch of them are in that soup already. That's incredible. Ah, so they've got coriander and, and um, spring, spring onions, onions in there. Okay. So put it all in, she said. Ants. I mean, they had this citrus flavour of uh, almost like little tiny particles of a uh, a lime and a lemon. And they were finishing the soup with that. I think it's delicious. Delicious. Had this zesty sort of, you know, freshness to the soup. Really good. And do you ever any of the men cook in the village? Will you help? Will you men, Men. In this village, uh, the, only the girls cook. Usually. Wow. Ah, so. Trust me, this is hard work. I'm a cook. <laughs> <laughs> Taste buds are on fire. I think I'm starting to lay those those foundations of lao food, the finishing of the herbs, the the chilies. It's sour. A touch of sweetness in there as well. If you told me a week ago I'd be making ant soup, I'd have said you're crazy. But it will make a great addition to the menu for the monks in a couple of days' time. So there's no freaking way I can have a sneak peek at my goat. No. You've buried it. Ashes to ashes, Your dust to dust. Your food is in the hands of the gods. May it rise deliciously. <laughs> I've never felt more like a fish out of water than I have today because I can't touch anything. I can't double check for that level of perfection because that's it. It's in there now and uh, roll on three and a half hours because if that if that's not cooked, I'm done. Can I go and lie down, please? I've got some sides to do. Oh, oh my Chef. lord, you are relentless. Chef, come on. And surprise, surprise, Monique's side dishes are hidden in an unusual place. Where are we going? We're just going for a little walk in the forest. Something tells me she isn't making coleslaw and fries. We need to find some hoo-hoos. Some what? Some hoo-hoo grubs. Some hoo-hoo grubs? Yes. They live in fallen wood, rotten wood. Here we right. go. And the, they'll be in here? They'll be right in the middle. It's a big market for it in this country. Serious? It's almost as expensive as caviar. And is it considered as a, that much of a delicacy? It's that much of a delicacy. Girl, you've lost it. <laughs> I'm telling you. Too much time in the bush. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just keep cracking some of these open. Ah. Oh, there we go. There oh we go. Native to New Zealand, hoo-hoo grubs are the larvae of the longhorn beetle. Oh, yeah. That's a great A, I reckon. You grade your grubs? We grade the grubs. Stop it. Yep, and I'll happily pay 180 to 190 for one of these. Really? Yep. Oh, that's a nice fat guy. Monique. Yeah. Monique. Don't they look delicious, Gordon? They do not oh, look delicious. Yes. So they taste of? They taste of peanut. I know that does not look like a jar of peanut butter. We don't eat it raw like that. Yeah. Like, that's its face. So it's in little, little spikes. Yeah. So those might bite you on the way down. So you don't want to start there. You want to pinch its face and eat its tail. So pinch this end and pinch. bite there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll go first. Please. OK. It's final feast day in New Zealand, and the menu has taken an unexpected turn. Great. Mmm. Is it wiggling around? Mmm, this is really good. Really creamy. <coughs> Mighty. 
They are disgusting. It's so good. Peanut butter. Your peanut yeah. butter must be different to my peanut butter I grew up with. No, mm. that is not for me, no. I'll show you. I'll show you how they can be used. Yeah, the only thing that's nutty mm. would be the person eating them.